Good morning, everyone. Here's our story for the day. It's by Robert Munch. Get out of bed. In the middle of the night, when everyone was asleep, Amy went downstairs and she watched the late show, the late, late show, the late, late show, the early, 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 early show. Finally, she went to bed because she was feeling somewhat tired. The next morning, everyone came to the breakfast table except Amy. Where is Amy, said her father. Where is Amy, said her brother. Amy is asleep, said her mother. I have called her five times and she is still asleep. What are we going to do? No problem, said her brother. I can get her up. Amy's brother ran up the stairs and yelled as loudly as he could, Amy. Amy snored. Be late for school, he said. See if I care. And he ran downstairs. Well, I know what to do, said Amy's father. He walked up the stairs and said in his sternest father voice, Amy, if you don't get out of bed this instant, I'm going to be really mad. Amy snored. He went back downstairs and told Amy's mother, your daughter will not get up. Well, I have something that works sometimes. She ran up the stairs, stood Amy on her feet, and said very nicely, Amy, please wake up. Amy fell over and went to sleep on the floor. Her mother ran downstairs and said, I can't get her up, I can't get her up. Oh, no, said her father, I have to go to work. Oh, no, said her brother, I have to go to school. Oh, no, said her mother, I have to go to work, too. But what are we going to do with Amy? Let's take her to school in her bed, said her brother. Amy's mother and father looked at each other and said, good idea. So they put Amy back in her bed and picked it up. Then they walked out the front door, down the street, around the corner, through the schoolyard, and into the school. And they put the bed down in the back of the classroom, and they left. Later that day, the principal came in and said, what's going on here? I don't know, said the teacher. It's Amy. She won't get out of bed. No problem, said the principal. She walked over and yelled at Amy as loud as she could. Wake up! And Amy went... I give up, said the principal. So the teacher taught reading, and Amy didn't wake up. The teacher taught arithmetic, and Amy didn't wake up. They went to the gym. Amy didn't wake up. They went out for recess, and Amy didn't wake up. They had lunch, and Amy still didn't wake up. They had art, and Amy still didn't wake up. Finally, it was time to go home. Call the mother, call the father, yelled the principal. Get these kids out of here. So Amy's mother came from work, and her father came from work, and her brother came from school, and they picked up Amy's bed, carried it home, and they all had dinner, except Amy. Amy was asleep. What if she never gets up, said her brother. Can I have her room? But the next day, Amy did get up. She ran downstairs and said, Oh, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in years. Nice to see you, said her mother. Did you have a nice sleep? Wonderful, said Amy, but I had strange dreams. Then her mother went to work, and her father went to work, and Amy and her brother went to school. At the door of the school, the principal said, Good morning, Amy. How are you feeling today? Wonderful, said Amy, but I had strange dreams last night. I bet, said the principal. Then Amy walked into the classroom, and everyone snored. I think they decided to be like Amy, and they all came to school in their pajamas asleep. Well, see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye.